Hey all, let us talk about some more important annotations in Spring Framework. Here I am going to cover about entity table, ID, column and generated value annotations. All these annotations are used in Spring JPA. It's a powerful framework that allows us to interact with the database. Let us cover more points along with the example. The first annotation is entity. Using this one, the class should be treated as a table in the database. So here the class student is table in the DB. If you want to add more details about the table like name, catalog, schema, we need to use this table annotation. Suppose if there is no table annotation, the default table name will be the name of the class. As I said, student here. The next column annotation is used to mention the column details. What is the column name and other details? ID annotation defines the specific column as a primary key. And generative value is the way of increment of the specific column. So as I said earlier, these annotations are useful to interact with the database. Thanks for watching and catch you in next video.